Now I'm aware that the Halloween update actually left the game yesterday, however I found this video and I wanted to share it with you all because I thought it was pretty cool. I took some cinematics but it, I never actually made it into a video. So basically on my roleplay server we hosted a fun informal racing day event totally inspired by SRPs and I did a video on that before. Here's me, uh, well, reclaiming my position in the line. Uh, well, I was taking cinematics and I didn't realise that the line had moved. Uh, but anyways, here we go okay so once you enter please um go to the left there's going to be the parking and then you'll be called up when it's your turn okay enjoy thank you thank you so once you pass the beefy security we're into the event and we are racing it's basically racing in suvs so you can see lots of broncos tahos bmks uh, or bkms whatever you'd like to call them and uh, yeah we took some nice cinematics of the event again i never really turned this into a video i think i kind of forgot about it uh, as it was recorded just before one of the big uh, updates i had to go for a while so i left my computer on and i was hoping to do this really really cool cinematic and well i did disconnected as you can see the game froze and I disconnected However, back in game here, we're preparing for our race. We had a bunch of different people racing. As you can see, the Durango was up first. I was viewing in free cam, taking tips to see how I could improve my driving style. And they did pretty well, to be fair. Like, the times were very, very close, having a look at the timing sheets after. With the Bronco next, which arguably is faster, but it, it really depends. I'd say it's better on off-roading, mainly because it's kind of a smaller chassis, and therefore it's kind of more nimble. But, you know, let me know what you think about this in the comments. So, we took some nice cinematic shots of that going round. I was kind of getting nervous at this point because I'd never raced on this track before. I joined the SSU a couple minutes earlier uh, because I was doing something else. And, well, I was I was very unprepared for the entire event. But there we go. The Bronco crosses the finish line. And now, now is my turn. The big time. So, we pull up into the driving event. I don't know what the Bronco is doing. But we pull up to the start line. Get ready to go. I think we just take this safe... Uh, we don't do manual gears or anything because I'm not amazing at that. But we get a good start. We start heading down this straight there. So again, I haven't raced here before, but we nearly cut that first corner. Nearly, very, very closely. Uh, nearly hit the barn there. And we came around the next corner. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my lap as it came out. We tried to use every part of the track available here. This part got very, very close with me hitting the cones and the fence for the haunted house. But as we come round onto the two or three final straights here, we come round the corner down one of the largest straights on this racetrack. We come past the amazing crowd on the left there and bring it right round to the finish. And I was pretty happy with my attempt to be fair. And once we finished, we just did a circle and then came back and exited the track to watch how everyone else did. This pink Bronco had a bit of a hard time trying to get out but eventually, eventually they got out. And uh, here's the interesting part, this is where they let law enforcement drive their vehicles into the track. So we had GSP driving a Dodge Charger, that was actually Ollie driving the Dodge uh, Charger around the track there. And, well, spoiler, they put in a good time. Uh, then we had DOT. DOT did decide to give it a try. For whatever reason, decided to drive one of their new signboard trucks around the track. Honestly, not the best of times. They did decently well considering their load. Fire department as well had a turn with, um, I can't remember what that's called, the pickup. I guess I will just call it the pickup. So they had a turn with their pickup. Pretty good time, and I think they were kind of expecting that. And this is where things get slightly interesting. We not only had a GSP Tahoe, but we also had the MCC, or the MCU, the Mobile Command Unit race. And, well, it was very interesting. So first off, we've got the Tahoe. Did a pretty good lap time, but I believe it did invalidate uh, its lap due to, due to cutting one of the corners. But next up, we have the MCU. And, well, you can probably tell by how fast the free cam's moving that uh, it didn't actually get a good run and it actually jumped the start so it had to do the start all over again um, but you know it wasn't moving that fast and you can't blame them the MCU is not a fast vehicle in the game probably one of the slowest I would argue but considering they did a very good lap time uh, they didn't break any of the corners they didn't cut any of the corners they stayed on track all times so some good driving in a very very heavy vehicle and came across the line spoiler alert they may have had the slowest lap time, but I think we could all expect that. As we came up to the podium here, or this makeshift stage, uh, the winners were announced. I won the main race, 
and I was pretty happy by that, but it was very, very close, I do have to say, to second and third. And uh, Ollie won the law enforcement race. He was technically one-tenth uh, ahead of me, so 0.1 of a second ahead of me in the race, but he also did have a dodge, and then we went on a whole rant about how the dodge wasn't actually faster than the BKM. But anyways, all in all, it was a really fun event. So thank you to myself for hosting this. Links will be in the description if you want to join pretty fun informal event and I just decided today to do a video talking about this because I kind of lost this footage but it would be unfortunate not to publish it to YouTube because we had a good time. Anyways have a great day make sure to subscribe to this channel for more uploads soon and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.